Hello! This time I'll show you how to squeeze some extra capacity from all NICAD batteries. I got three 18 volts batteries from old Ryobi cordless power tools. All I know that those batteries are faulty or not holding charge. I want to check is it possible to make two reasonably good batteries from three faulty. First is need to take them apart and take a look how everything looks inside. Sometimes it is clearly visible bad cells. I forgot to show batteries voltages, but I remember that one pack was around 12 volts and two others around 8 volts. Looks like someone already was fixing two battery packs before me. The main tool for this process is IMAX B6AC version 2 charger. If you'll need one, I leave a link in description where you could get original one, because in market are a lot of fake copies. I got it from gearbest.com and I could recommend it as a trusted seller for this charger. First, I charge all battery fully up. They all nicely took charge and there was no need to make zapping process. In case you'll need more information about zapping, click a link in corner. After full charge, I discharge each pack to 12 volts. Why 12 volts? This pack is made from 15 cells connected in series and safe limit to discharge each NICAD cell is to 0.8 volts. 15 multiplied 0.8 equals 12. I repeated this process few times to eliminate any possible NICAD memory effect. Use the cycle discharge charge function. After that, I take one by one cell and discharge them at 2 amps of load to 0.8 volts cutoff voltage. Like I said, 0.8 volts per cell is totally acceptable for NICAD cells. All results were wrote on each cell, and now I can see how good or bad are free batteries. Here is connecting 50 NICAD cells in series, so battery is good as good as worst cell connected in series. The idea is to take a look and find worst cells and replace them with better ones. Here is some testing results. It's clearly visible that first and second batteries are better than third. It is definitely need to change two cells from first pack and three cells from second. After some calculations, I decided to replace some more cells in first battery by using second's battery pack best cells. The idea is to make one strong battery where cells capacity will be 1200 mAh or better. In same method, I'll upgrade battery number 2, that all cells will have 1000 mAh of capacity or more. Last battery pack will be a donor. It is time to disassemble battery and separate good cells from bad. Because I'm planning to use same cells tabs, I'll disconnect them very carefully. I used a knife and twist it under a tab. By applying tension, spot welds will pop out. It's quite tricky, so don't rush and save yourself. And of course, don't short cells.
arranged itself in finally battery shape and started soldering. Time for assembling to battery housing. If everything was done properly, it should give us around 18 volts. Well done! I checked battery capacity before disassembling and now I could compare with battery capacity after regrouping cells. There was 1200 mAh in beginning and after regrouping cells I got 1400 mAh of capacity. It's increase of 17%. Not bad at all. So, if you're working on NICAD batteries powered cordless power tools and have some issues with battery capacity, you could squeeze some extra of capacity like I did. Especially when this fix cost almost nothing, just your time. If this video was helpful, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.